Hello Virgos, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of December 2018. Merry Christmas reading. All right, so we're going to be starting out with the Karmic Spr or the, <laughs> the Lenormand deck. And these energies here are telling me that the particular Virgo energies I am reading for for this general reading have to do with sweeping away from a desire to take some sort of risk. This Virgo was feeling very passionate, was either this passionate masculine energy or a Virgo feminine or vice versa, however it works. Could be that the person that you are waiting to connect with is a, a passionate masculine energy. Now we've got the clock here saying that everything is happening according to divine timing or that this Virgo is saying, I understand that everything happened according to divine timing or that will. Because of the compass energies here, this tells me that the Virgo is still trying, hoping, wishing, praying for spirit to guide them with the compass when it comes to their home environment, their business, maybe moving. There's playfulness here or a situation involving children. There could be a child here who is carrying the energies of lies and deceit, not being completely honest. Or there are dishonest energies around when it comes to playfulness. Now I do feel like this Virgo or the one Virgo's thinking of is wanting to hop, skip, and jump and make a wish come true because of kind words, messages, gifts, or flowers. But they came into the energies of confusion. Trying to make the highest, best decision about the path ahead. A path ahead. Because this Virgo really was enjoying the attraction, the connection. They were feeling like a little kid again. And now they're feeling burdened because of what was. Now there's anxiety because they want the truth. They want to know more. And they want to do the research by communicating, texting, tweeting, whatever. They feel like there is more to learn, this Virgo. And that they need to meet and communicate and connect and negotiate in order to get the information that they're thinking about. So that they can recognize what this path taught them about themselves. Or at least that's what Spirit's trying to tell this Virgo. Yes, there's a desire to text, tweet, talk in some way with a feminine energy who is sitting here waiting and waiting. Uh, there are energies of a passionate feminine energy in the thoughts of a Virgo who is hoping, wishing, and praying to make a, a, a wish come true. They want to leave their current stability to travel and move towards another. They want to be a caring, loving, giving, supportive energy. But in their thoughts, this Virgo may be doing something that isn't completely honest. But they want to know, is this person devoted or not? Could there be a commitment or a partnership? I'm feeling stuck and I'm trying to figure out what it is that I'm wishing for. I need to learn more about a situation that feels karmic. Wow, so... By the third week of December 2018, we have a Virgo that is learning more or trying to learn more or is trying to move forward in a long-term future path. But in their thoughts, they're like, I've got to get rid of this desire to sweep away any regrets, mistakes. Again, we've got the scythe representing the third and fourth week of December 2018. So this poor Virgo is saying, I'm tired of learning. I probably made a mistake or someone made a mistake or I just don't even know what I want with the situation anymore. That's why in the past I wanted to sweep away the desire to take a chance. This Virgo by the fourth week of December 2018 may actually receive communication or may actually communicate with another and this communication is gonna bring some clarity Thank goodness to this Virgo. By the end of December 2018, we have a Virgo who may be thinking about someone who has Pisces in their chart and or financial abundance and security as they move into a new path, a new direction that opens up into even more directions and paths ahead. So in the outcome position for Virgos representing the end of the year, 
We have a Virgo that's either sitting here waiting on someone or thinking about a masculine energy at a distance, not sharing their day-to-day -day life path in the same home environment with. And they are still, this Virgo, researching. Do I close a chapter or do I start a new chapter in some way? All right, so... I went to my newest deck, which is the Energy Oracle deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. And in the center of the reading, I saw the Temple Path. Again, this speaks of meeting, connecting, coming together, talking. And I never before noticed. I mean, I know 1 plus 2 and 12 is 3, and 3 is about spirituality. Those who have passed before us, our spirit guides, angels, the dear Lord in heaven. And we do have three orbs there, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, right? So this is a very blessed decision when it comes to a journey or at least the Virgo in the beginning or I should say the middle of December 2018 is contemplating making a decision see they're strategizing in their thoughts position of the circle spread again two plus one is three someone's trying to guide Virgo to make the right decisions and in the relationship sector they have the sixth chakra Archangel Metatron meaning uh, Metatron is helping you to, Virgo, see clearly, not through words, not through actions, through feelings, as you maybe connect or meet up with another. I believe this is Virgo, but again, if you're a feminine or however it works and you're waiting on a Virgo energy to come, I do believe that the man holding a coin energies to me and the number seven is a difficult decision, but... Connecting with someone who is maybe of a masculine energy, who's offering an opportunity, a goal, an opportunity. So either Virgo's offering an opportunity, a journey ahead. Ooh. That's what I feel. They're trying to take action to create the ha happy family energies of a solid foundation, a solid home, a solid future, contentment, fulfillment. And yet, in their emotional aspects position, this Virgo is carrying storm energies. They're worried about the coming together, that it will cause something bad. And the reason is, subconsciously, is because there are deceptive energies in the air. So I don't know if... I almost feel like this particular Virgo is saying, well, I kind of want to come in and meet and negotiate about and strategize this happy family. And part of me wants to maybe run away, but I'm listening to my Archangel Metatron to listen to my third eye and really let myself communicate deeper than the energies of deceit. Or how do I ignore the fact that there are deceptive energies and still meet with someone so I can find the clarity I need? This Virgo day-to-day -day is contemplating a journey ahead. A new path, a new direction of sorts. And they're being given the strength of the Blossoming Abundance card. Beautiful. So Spirit is helping to give you guys the strength in the second half of December 2018 Virgos to see something evolve and grow when it comes to finances. So you have the strength to do that and to come together and to strategize communication and to think about your journey and to listen to your third eye chakra about what is it that I really want in this path ahead? What does deceptive mean in this situation? Because that's what's causing the storm warning energies of fear. Will deception or deceptive energies lead me away? Or do I need to push beyond them and get to the truth? Is That was like spiritual guidance. All right. So in a three-card summary to my right with the same energy oracle deck, we have got the first, or I should say, the third week of December 2018 being represented by the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. So this is about uh, love. This is about healing. This is about stepping into a new world path, a new beginning, because you've learned what you needed to learn. And Spirit saying, you can have victory as long as you use the energies of Archangel Gabriel. Ask Gabriel to bless you with the right words. Because there's a Virgo here who's going through the door of personal healing and happiness. 
and they're finally having the strength to walk away from where they had felt stuck. Beautiful. And Cornucopia, to me, is the most beautiful card in this deck. It represents uh, a great fulfillment, celebration, happiness, because you have are now receiving what you deserve from the work you put in, even if it was the work you put into your own spiritual walk. Okay, so by the fourth week of December 2018, we've got different doorways opening up, unexpected doorways, not really knowing which doorway is the right way. And that's why the angel of love is saying here, along with Archangel Metatron, listen to your third eye when you come into this communication, this meeting, this negotiation. Push away the energies of deceit and contemplate unexpected opportunities. The door to romance is opening up. By the fourth week, maybe, of December 2018. And Spirit saying, remain balanced. Okay, remain balanced. Offer your heart and show great appreciation. As someone truly appreciates you and can help to support you to change something in your life. Yeah, there's a woman here who's very kind and caring and loving and giving and supportive and she does want to help you to heal and to move forward so you can find clarity and know what it is you're going after in your future so that you can get excited about signing on the dotted line and knowing where you're going. Now we do have a woman holding a heart here but for some reason, she's tied up. She may not be available in some way, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, legally. Put your sword away. Ground yourself. Give thanks to this communication. Because you are being drawn together to learn from one another. Look at the magician in the mirror. Wow, I feel like two people are mirroring each other and they're learning what they can manifest in their lives through the connection with one another so that the door of spirit can open up, the door to spirit, the door towards what, where you're supposed to go, Virgo. You're going to come into a deep awareness and get excited about your future, but still carrying the energies of anxiety. Now, by the end of December, the end of the year, it's like... When I see this card, it's like that garden of seeing things grow and prosper and bloom and open up and be wonderful is right there. All you have to do is walk through the great gate and trust in spirit and then take some time to rest and rejuvenate. Because you're going to find out by the end of the year that this woman uh, has taken a lot of time to think. We have a thinking woman here, somebody who is trying to get clear about walking in their highest path. And their truth, their goals, their intentions may not line up at this time. And you may feel the energies of a broken heart. And all of a sudden, you're going into deep thought about financial constraint. But remember... What you have learned is a gift to another. And that's what the attachment, I think, between two people is about here, is the ability to learn through another. And it's turned into a very caring connection. But there's indecision here. Again, there's worry about money and spirit saying, instead of worrying about that, Virgo, focus on the excitement and to what a doorway to value means to you besides in money what is what do you, what are you going to manifest in a new chapter of your life that means value to you what's that chapter look like who's in that chapter how are you in that chapter okay so i wanted to learn more about the person that this virgo may be dealing with thinking of meeting with it's like there's a life renewed acorn here that's being offered, an opportunity to plant the seed and create a new life. And in the thoughts position, this Virgo is strategizing 
a new path in love. When it comes to, I'll say any water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, though I am feeling Pisces strongly. In the romance, uh, I'm sorry, relationship sector of the circle spread. Remember, Metatron's helping for you to see clearly beyond the beautiful, intense, passionate energy of the other. Creatively, you may want to offer an opportunity to another. She could be a very beautiful, kind, caring, creative, and spiritual empress. And in the actions position, you have the happy family energy, creating through your actions a happiness and a contentment in your life, who you are building a solid foundation with. So they're offering the person around you the emperor energies. They're watching to see if you have opened your heart or if you're still kind of overthinking. Emotionally, someone or something may keep be coming towards you and there's fear or you're going towards them and there's fear. But enjoy this connection. It may not go exactly where and how you want it to go, but it is going to be fun and it is going to be real. By the end of December 2018, have the courage to push beyond the, your fear and subconsciously think about why were there deceptive energies with regards to this passionate connection. And now that we've come to the Ten of Wands, right? The end of this passionate connection. What has been reborn in you? Day to day, it's time for a journey. It's definitely a good second half of December 2018 is a great time for Virgos to get out and to connect and have fun with their friends. Because there is an Empress energy here, someone who wants to help you create and plant a new seed, a new direction in your life, or you guys are offering that to someone else. You have the strength to watch wonderful abundance in your life bloom because you step beyond that gate, right? You're now in the garden, recognizing that you have the inner strength because you went full circle in your path in the past. You learned through a happy family connection, through having to go through attorneys or judges, through now needing to meet with another to talk about how to plant a seed ahead and coming into connection with someone who's a very kind, loving, giving, supportive person. So the World Path Portal is opening up to you. And because this represents the other person, as you are creating a beautiful garden, they're also going full circle in some way, okay? They're learning about themselves. So let's look a little bit closer. Yeah, the person Virgo's thinking of, uh, I think they have been feeling down and sad and depressed because they didn't see a love offer or they didn't feel love in the situation. They've looked at the offers, the ideas, the opportunity to yes or no, should I free myself in some way and go after a different flower, a different circumstance or situation. They've been doing a lot of research and they see that you've been dragging their feet. So this person, Virgo, is like, I'm done with that. I understand the lesson. Okay, so they got there. They understand it. They felt the heartache. And now by the fourth week of December 2018, there is still a part of them want, that wants to sneak away and speak their truth. Have a conversation to say what needs to be said. And should a connection come together, I think it's going to be more passionate than either of these people expect. So Virgo, you're going to be sitting here like this, deep in thought about fantasy. But there's a secret here. Ah, deception. Where does the deception lie? Who is this financially abundant, secure, and happy person? Could it be that this Virgo is trying to choose between an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or they're trying to choose between a water sign or, or choose a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female? Is there marriage here? 
There sure is fun. There's a desire to create a new path. Listen to your intuition, Virgo. This person is as well. They're watching their karmic energies and they're trying to be careful. They don't even know if they want to communicate anymore with the situation that may involve three people, okay? They're trying to heal. They're content where they're at. They're protecting and defending themselves because they feel like someone is trying to manipulate them. They're trying to have the strength to let some sort of spiritual transformation leave, flow. They understand it now. It was great while it happened, and now I'm needing to speak my truth. I still want to be playful, but I need to speak my truth. I feel like both of you cannot let it go until you've had a conversation. So this person as well is up in their head, frustrated, worried, maybe even angry. They're looking at what did I cause in my path and what is my truth? And how do I cut away from that which is not for my highest, best good? They see you as a caring, loving, giving, supportive family person. But they know that the messages have been small and have not grown. So they're moving towards a happily ever after. They're remembering this passionate connection for what it truly was. And it was just lust and desire. There is sadness and regret because of the coming and going. And now, I feel like the communication is over. I think they'll always be wishing to have a connection. But remember this, because I've got a lot of messages or personal readings and messages lately. If someone is with another person, then the timing is not right. If you want something to happen for its highest, best good, you've also got to open up your heart to the reality of the situation. Um, if you feel something, at least say, I feel and care about you very much. <laughs> this is like, I see two different things happening because it's going to come down to the actual meeting. Clarity will come and still the Virgo around the 28th of December 2018 is going to be saying, I still need more information. I still need more clarity. Wow. So I'm going to bring Virgo a closing message in here from the Archangel Michael Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue, please. Prayer for Virgo Sun, Moon, or Rising for the second half of December 2018. Oh my gosh. So Spirit's trying to tell Virgo it's time to make a commitment. What do you want? What do you want? So the prayer for the second half of December 2018 for Virgos. Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose, which is to find peace, joy, happiness, contentment, and fulfillment day to day. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience, every person. You know, whether we share our life path with someone day to day or not, we are always in love. Love is all around us. It's the air we breathe. It's nature outside. It's our pets. It's our family. It's our friends. It's the people we meet at the store. You know, when it comes to a passionate connection, yes, eventually that passion and lust dissipates. That's what draws two animals together. And then they build a solid foundation of happiness, joy, and great memories and moving in together and building a life together. But once that passion and lust dissipate, it'll always leave you in the moment of what was that? And if it's emptiness and no longer communication and you need to have answers, I do feel like spirit is guiding someone here to at least come together and communicate so you can either let it go or get the answers you need. And I feel like a Virgo is going to walk away after communication and still not be able to lay down that rose. So many blessings to you in your journey. 
Take your time, Spirit Say, making a decision. Re retain your sense of humor and know that your inner guidance is real and it's trustworthy. And so is the person that you want to communicate with. So ask the questions, get on the other side and start planning your happy future with or without another, knowing that if it's meant to be through your prayers, Spirit will help for you to manifest it. If you'd like a personal reading, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. And my price list is below. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and God bless.